What's up guys, MCG here bringing you episode 97 of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Episode 96 was a longer one, it was about a half an hour or so long. Uh, anyone who sat through it and enjoyed themselves, thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who sat in on only a couple minutes of it, thank you, thank you, thank you. Basically anyone who takes the time to check out a video, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, and if you're here because you saw that one and you want to see where things went next with Eventide Island, well, welcome aboard. Um, in the last video, of course, we started Eventide Island. We got two of the orbs. Uh, we contended with the Blood Moon, which kind of came into play mm, somewhat unexpectedly. Uh, and really threw things for a loop. And in this video figure out a way to take care of this guy. I don't know if I do it the slow and steady way like this, but it's going to make for some boring, boring, boring content. Uh, that said though, better safe than sorry, am I right? Uh, I wonder how much damage that actually did. I'm just going to like chuck stuff at him. And... Does he heal? He must. Let's see, will that hit? That'd be wicked if I hit him in the eye. He's gonna hit me with that. <laughs> oh, he's gonna try. Key up. I wonder if... Well, A, I wonder what he's going for. Let's see where this bombo goes. I still have uh, Herbosa's Fury, which is nice. Uh, do I have a better bow? No, I do not. Let's see here. Yeah, that did some damage. Every little bit counts, am I right? That's so close to his eye. Oh, I got him. Do I not have a weapon out? Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael. <laughs> that. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, easy. Really helped that we had Urbosa's Fury waiting in the wings and that I had that Claymore. Uh, it actually really paid off that I threw that rusted Claymore at that Octorok, because that's ultimately what netted me the final orb. And it would appear as though that's the uh, first Hinox I've defeated. So, hmm. Well, I thought this was going to be a long video. And uh, it turns out it's not. Well, <laughs> uh, maybe I should hold my tongue here. And we'll see how long it takes us to get this orb into its rightful home. Ah, choose. Of course, those guys are back. That's no good. This pedestal that this orb is going to go in is like the most pain in the butt situation going and I would argue that it is almost the final boss of this even tide island not that Hinox. That Hinox is small time compared to what we're about to contend with because they make you throw this orb onto that little pad there that's out in the water as long as there's no Octorox, as long as there's no Bokoblins, I should be okay. We're looking good. Uh, nope. Let's uh, give you a little throw there. You're a little closer than I wanted you, but we'll work with it. We'll work with it. I might have to go out there, though.
Uh, yeah, so you can already tell what this is going to be. Nope, I don't want to climb that. I want to push this. There we go. Yeah, you can already see this is going to be all kinds of fun. And just because you get it on the ice pillar doesn't mean your aim is going to be good enough to get it on the rock. It's a real son of a gun. Although, at least I didn't fall off the ice pillar. Alright. Just right there. Yes! Yes! Even tied, complete. That wasn't too bad. It only took me uh, a couple hairs under forty minutes. <clears throat> I didn't even really have a game plan going, and I just kind of. Well, I mean, I kind of did, I guess. I went and got supplies and all that sort of thing. Yeah, whatever. My best advice for this is, like I like I just said, like I went and got supplies. My best advice is. Skirt the island a little bit and go get your supplies because you're going to pick up food, you're going to pick up some weapons, and those things are going to get you through the early part where you're having troubles uh, because you're getting beat to crap by puny bacoblins with boat oars and stuff like that. Alright, uh, okay, we got to change some things up. Like, for starters, I'm not using that shield. There we go. Uh, well, hmm, I am thoroughly satisfied with that. <clears throat> okay. Are you, uh... Yep, you are. Be gone. I just want your roops. Your roops. Ooh, I want your roops. All right. So the nice thing is, is that Eventide itself is the test for the shrine. So they don't make you go through anything else. It's just uh, whatever reward or whatever the heck they usually call them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty sweet. It'll be like Bakshala's reward or Fosro does reward or whatever. And we'll position ourselves here. I think I can take off my Zora armor actually. Uh, da -da. Whoops. What am I doing? Holy smoke. Holy, holy smokes. Uh, throw that boy on. And probably this boy. Get some climbs going. Yeah. Man, I, I thought I wasn't going to make it past this part. <laughs> Especially when that blood moon came. It was like, okay, regroup, regroup. Got to rethink what we're doing here. Up we go. Oof. Oof. Give me the boof. Ah, Korgu Chide. Chide. We did it. We freaking did it. And we're back. Blessing, not reward. Blessing. I kept calling it a reward, but it's a blessing. A gold roop. I thought it was going to be something else. Not sure what I thought it was going to be, but I didn't think it was going to be a gold roop. Oh well. Do need money after all. The world revolves around money. Hooray! I could get a heart. Alright, what's next for us? Well, you weren't here before. Yeah. What are you doing all the way up here? 
Well, I am seeking an adventurer. You must be drawn to heights. You and I have that in common. It is only from here that I can properly hear the wind. I want to live as the wind does, free and unrestricted. To bide here and listen to its voice offers a taste of that freedom. Don't you long to be like the wind too? Why, absolutely. I think we will be fast friends. I've never felt such kinship with a Hillian before. Your style of wing is different than mine, but similar enough that I think you could undergo my training to become the wind. Sure, let's check it out. It lifts my spirits to hear of your keen interest. I require 20 rupees to set up a course for you to train. Is that acceptable? Let's do it. You should wait here while I prepare the course for you. Okay, so what's this going to be? That took longer than I expected. My apologies, but it is ready now for you to fly whenever you are ready. I recommend the route over there. It can be enjoyable to waft along on a calm breeze. But the choice is ultimately yours. Whatever you decide, the wind will welcome you. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's go with his recommended route. Alright, so it's just like a little mini game. It's like uh, Superman 64, but maybe not as bad. Um, I've never played Superman 64, so I guess I can't really speak to it, but you know. Oh, look at this. A little updraft here. Woo! There we go. But where am I going to replenish my stamina? Uh, guess we go for this one. Uh, now where? Oh, I'm not even sure where to go. I guess it wasn't here, but oh well. Hmm, stay there and I will come collect you, my flightless friend. Ah. You achieved 27 rings, hmm? Very good. You take to your strange wings quite well. Here, this is for you. Hmm, alright. Are you satisfied for the day, or would you like to train again? Nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are much like a cuckoo. First you fly, and now you cluck. Most intriguing. I look forward to seeing you again. Alright, well, I just learned a thing that I didn't know was in this game. Anyways, guys, uh, I think with that mini game and uh, this Eventide Island completed, we'll call the video there. I'm going to make a game plan for where we're going next. Um, we have memories to get, uh, a shrine or two that I want to do in whatever shrines, whatever other shrines we run into along the way. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all things MCG. Until the next video, guys, we'll see you later.